Good morning, everyone. Our church gave gave one tenth of all the offerings for his work uh, of uh, of other of the work of God done by other than our church. Now let's give thanks to God for this one tenth. God, thank you for meeting all our needs and to express our thanks, we now give you this one tenth. I know that you have everything. You are in control in everything. To express our faith, uh, we now give you this one tenth. Please consecrate it and receive it and use this for your work. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Now, good morning once again. The end of a year of our church calendar is October. November is the first month of our church year. Let us give thanks to God for all those that happened to us this year. I'd like to give you two testimonies and this will be published in a website entitled Impossible Stories. In the sixteenth in the sixteenth century, Japanese Christians were martyred and several of the first martyrs were twenty saints of Japan and God told us that uh, we have a relationship with with the martyrdom martyrdom of them. I learned about them in the seminary and uh, well after I started this church I had a chance to go to Nagasaki, and the Lord led me to pray in the hill of Nishizaka, where they were actually martyred about 400 years ago. And when I prayed, prayed there, I really felt the strong presence of God. And after returning back to Tokyo, I started to study more, learn more about them, the 26 martyrs of Japan. And as I did that, the Lord spoke to me to um, follow the step, follow the footsteps of these 26 martyrs of Japan. Uh, so, 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 so we need to follow followed their faith. That's how we started a special meeting to commemorate com commemorate on, th on the martyrdom uh, on February 5th, the date of the martyrdom every year in Nagasaki. And uh, then um, after some time, I was led to marry my wife, and when 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 we prayed to God for, about our wedding ceremony, the Lord spoke to us to to have a wedding ceremony on February fifth, the date of the martyrdom of the twenty six martyrs of Japan. And the Lord they also they asked to ask a Catholic priest to lead the wedding ceremony of ours. You know, usually a Protestant pastor never uh, has his own wedding ceremony led by a Catholic priest, but this is what the Lord they asked to do. So I asked one 
Catholic priest living in Japan, uh, Father Edo, um, to preside over our wedding ceremony. And when we, we uh, had a talk with him about the wedding ceremony, uh, he asked us, uh, so uh, when we when we told him that we would have where we would like to have a wedding ceremony on February fifth, he he was surprised, and because and 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 we shared with him why we chose that date, and then he was very surprised because he was from Hungary, Hungary, and when he had decided to come to Japan to for missionary work in Japan many, many years ago. Um, one of the things that he that motivated him to choose to come to Japan is was about was testimonies of the twenty six martyrs of Japan. He learned about them, and he, he felt the leading of God, and he felt called to Japan by God, and he came to Japan to be a priest. And, and the date of our wedding ceremony was drawing near. A prophecy came forth saying that um, uh, this prophecy said that one of the 26 martyrs of Japan in heaven, he is praying for me. Uh, and I thought, uh, and the prophecy said that um, uh, one of the martyrs, one of the 26 martyrs of Japan, uh, Paul Miki, he is praying for me in heaven. And I really didn't understand what it was all about, but uh, I I learned that this Father Edo, who would lead our wedding ceremony, he lived in a Catholic lodging called Miki House. And this lodging is named after this Paul Miki, one of the 26 martyrs of Japan. And that confirmed me that maybe this prophecy really came from the Lord. This Paul Miki, uh, uh, he continued to preach the gospel uh, until the last minute of his death on the cross in Nagasaki. And this is how we are now, even now, led to have a special meeting commemorating on the 26 martyrs of Japan on February 5th in Nagasaki. I believe that God puts his special hand upon this special meeting. We are going to have this meeting uh, next February 5th. If you are led, please come and join us. Okay, another testimony is that the Lord led us to have a relationship with the late Pastor Mullin Erke Rothers, and we learned about giving thanks to God for everything. And I believe that through this, this teaching, giving thanks to God, my life was changed. When I was a non-Christian, I, I wanted to pursue studies of Japanese literature. Uh, this is Japanese poems, one of the styles of poems called tanka. I tried to pursue this uh, Japanese literature 
but I quit on the way because I knew that if I would become a, a professional poemist, poemist of Tanka, I would not be able to make a living. So I decided to pursue novels, uh, excuse me, pursue uh, ordinary poems instead. But I again learned that even though I would become a poemist, I would not be able to make a living. Then I decided to shift, in, shift to becoming, trying to become a novelist. I tried to study about how to write a novel to be a novelist. But one day, uh, uh, the Holy Spirit uh, spoke to me while I was trying to write a novel. The Holy Spirit sp spoke to me like he made me to feel that I might be wasting all, all of this time writing a novel. Well, after that, sometime later, I accepted Jesus as my Savior, and then the Lord spoke to me to throw away writing of novels because that didn't, that had nothing to do with the work of spreading the gospel. I decided I obeyed God and I stopped write, writing a novel. But after I became a pastor, I learned that all these um, studies, trying to be a poemist or trying to be a novelist, all of these things turned out for my good because, you know, as a pastor, I. I have to study the Bible, and I, I had to, I have to study um, the Bible in order for me to uh, study the Bible. Uh, the studies that I did for becoming a poemist, a novelist, uh, were, were useful. Are useful. And several years later, I got let me to write a book, a Christian book. And some famous pastors of Japanese church, among Japanese church, they uh, praised me for that, saying that I am good at writing literature and studying about poems and starting to be a novelist. They all turned out, turns out for my good as I now uh, write books for God. Now I know that nothing was useless. Everything has been turning out for my good. So when we obey God, God uses everything for my good, for our good. You know, uh, trying to b write a novel uh, was some is something like uh, uh, making sentences for a message, a sermon. Also, in my childhood, uh, I like to sing. Uh, you know. I didn't intend to be a professional singer, but I just like to sing in a loud voice. And God even used this for my for the good, for my good, for his work. 
because I have a strong, I have a strong voice, and now I, I give a lot of messages as pastor. Maybe I'm one of the pastors who give, uh, who give, most number of messages in a week compared to other uh, Japanese pastors. But I have strong voice and God use, use it that. I also had a hobby in my elementary school days because I was interested in traveling and trips. I like to uh, read magazines of travel. And I gained a lot of knowledge about traveling in Japan. And now I am sent to various parts of Japan to minister in holy meeting in various parts of Japan. But because I used to study a lot from those uh, travel magazines, I am good at finding good places to stay, for example. God also use it, uses this, this for good. Now let's, so, so when we obey God, God makes all things work together for our good. Now let's watch a digest movie of the team to Israel in several years ago. This is a movie from the Team to Israel in October and November of 2014. This is the Golden Gate, Jerusalem.
And the fulfillment of God's promises for the last 30 years, the Lord opened uh, an opportunity for Pastor Po and his team to minister in the Russian mess Messianic congregation. We were given a promise from uh, of God from the book of Hab Habakkuk. If it tarries, wait for it. It will come. For sure, it will never be late. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for leading this outreach to Israel. And thank you for the work that you did among the Russian Messianic congregation. And thank you that for, for leading us to the end with your blessings. Uh, for us, the end of October is the end of a year, and November is the first month of a church year because we go to Israel in November. The Lord tells us to start our year in Israel as Israelites. So we start a year in Israel, Israel as Israelites. This is how, this is what we do. You might say that you do not understand this. Let me explain. Israel is, not, is a nation totally different from Japan, China, United States, and other nations because Israel it was founded through Abraham who obeyed God. And Israel, the state of Israel was founded uh, in 1948. And Jesus will return in, in Israel and the place of Israel will become the, king, the Millennium Kingdom after the Millennium Kingdom. The last judgment will be done, and Jerusalem will be uh, absorbed into New Jerusalem. Well, maybe uh, it's better for me to write a diagram 
Hideyoshi used to obey Nobunaga. And he experienced rebels of the Japanese Buddhists against the then government. And he learned when people un were united in the same religion, they had power. Maybe he got afraid of Christianity uh, for that reason. And he started to persecute Christians, and that led to martyrdom of the 26 martyrs of Japan, uh, including missionaries and fathers. Uh, 24 Christians were arrested in Kyoto, and they were led to Nagasaki on foot to be killed. And on the way, two people, two other Christians who attended them, joined them. And, and it was decided that they would be persecuted in Nagasaki, where there were many, many Christians. Uh, in the beginning, they were um, they were looked around in Kyoto and after they had the ear, uh, right ear cut. And this is a little boy called Ludovico Ibaragi. He was not very clever, but he liked to take care of the sick people with other uh, Catholic priests and brothers. And they traveled all the way to Nagasaki from Kyoto on foot. And Mr. Terazawa, a brother of the funeral, funeral lord in Nagasaki, he sympathized with this little boy. Well, he and he talked to the Dobigo. Uh, and he suggested that the, the, he he could adopt the, the beagle as his son on the condition that the, the beagle um, forsake the faith in Christ. But the, the beagle refused to accept that, telling him that you should have faith in Jesus together with me. The, the beagle had no interest in things of this earth. He just wanted to pursue uh, to believe in God. They left Yamamoto village and they climbed a high mountain and arrived in Omura a beach. And this place really looks like the Sea of Galilee in Israel. They were allowed to take a rest for a while in this 
seashore, looking at the beautiful sea, they might have been comforted. Now they descended the mountain and they、uh, headed for Tokitsu in several boats. And it was very cold on the boat. And they were not allowed to land in Tokitsu where there were many, many Christians. And they had to stay in the boat overnight. In the cold weather. Now they were now approaching, to, approaching the final destination of the execution.、Uh, it took about a month, and the distance of, was about 800 kilometer, kilometers. They were never afraid of death. And they gave thanks to God for all that happened to,、uh, to them. Ludovico Antonio, these three boys, they were singing praises to God as they. I climbed up the hill of Nishizaka and before their eyes in the hill of Nishizaka, the crosses they were going to be put, light, wooden, wooden crosses were there. And every one of them was put on the cross on February 5th,、uh, 1597. They were the first Japanese martyrs that were executed in Nishizaka, Nagasaki. The next year, after they were martyred in August, Hideyoshi Toyotomi fell sick. They got, he was worried about his son, who was still very young, but he passed away. And he left the famous words that said, Like a, like a drop of water,、uh, people pass away. Nobody lasts forever, and my wife is like a drop of water. G- General Toyotomi. Ruled in Japan, he achieved everything he wanted. But he might have been battling over、uh, uncertainty of this world. Uh, one, of, one of the 26 martyrs of Japan,、uh, uh, they also knew that their lives here on this earth were just short.
but uh, their faith still speaks to us uh, that there is eternity in heaven. Well, you know, they, they, they prayed for all the Japanese people to be saved. And, and this will be achieved in the end times. I'm going to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you touch each one of us. We, you think that nothing to do with you, but you, the Word of God comes to you when you realize that something will be opened for you to understand. You have a gift. Uh, you had experience of being successful through that gift, but that gift is now asleep. But God intends to let you use it for his work. So start exercising that gift. You are feeling that you are hated by others and you are isolated by others. But that's your misunderstanding. Give thanks to God for everything. Believe in God's love when you rely on Him and when you ask Him. Uh, cloudy sin will be opened for you to be able to see through. I'm going to pray for healing. Now please repent of your sins. Dear Heavenly Father, please touch each one of us. I command to our bodies and minds be healed. I command to the diseases to leave us. I command to our bodies and minds be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed. You have belief in your bowels, but you are healed. Uh, you suffer from um, from your from the disorder of your sekizui, uh, but you are healed. Please stand up. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, all forever and ever. Amen.